Hi everyone at this conference, uh, I'm Skylar Gray, I hope you're having a lovely time in Luxembourg. I am talking to you about implementing StarRef. So, StarRef is a field that I implemented around about a year ago. Uh, it references text by style. So, you can have a StarRef uh, star field that says, I want to find a heading 1 on the current page, or I want to find the nearest pre-formatted text. Uh, so I decided to make StarRef because it's been in other office suites for a very long time. Uh, the earliest reference I could find to it was in Word 2003. Here's a screenshot of the Word 2003 documentation from documentation.help, and as you can see, it mentions the StarRef field. Now, it's 2024 now, so that's over 20 years ago that Word 2003 and StarRef field was uh, around. And power users of other office suites love it. So here's Suzanne Barnhill uh, on her blog talking about the StarRef field and saying that users who discover it welcome it gratefully. And that was the tone I found in pretty much every StarRef discussion. And we want to improve compatibility with their documents, right? People love this field and they've been using it. And we have been able to open and read documents, but when we edited them, uh, the StarRef field wouldn't update properly, and I wanted to change that. So to make StarRef, I looked at the specification and the documentation for OOXML and, and Word, and I also tried it out because there are some edges where the documentation didn't give me a full picture of what the StarRef field does. And I also looked at other fields in LibreOffice and how we implemented them particularly useful were the page number field, uh, which changes depending on which page you're on, and also the other cross-reference fields, which have uh, a ways of referencing, for example, a bookmark that's on a separate page. So lots of making StarRef was similar to other fields, so there were a lot of examples to help out. Uh, but some of it wasn't the same. So StarRef has some options that other fields don't. We've got a search from bottom to top option. StarRef searches the current page, and then it goes and searches the rest of the document. And the search from bottom to top option searches up the current page before searching the rest of the document. And that could be really useful if you're making a thing that says, uh, this page is from this heading to this other heading. Uh, you might want to search uh, up the page to find what the last heading on it was. And the hide non-numerical option. StarRef has a really interesting option when you are inserting uh, numbers uh, into, your, into your document. If your chapters have a, an interesting number scheme where it says chapter 2.1, uh, you might want to only show the 2.1. So StarRef has a way to cut out that chapter text and, in fact, any characters which aren't part of the numerical numbering scheme. So you would just get 2.1. So, to implement these, I added some flags to StarRef, and I made these checkboxes appear uh, when you select StarRef. Uh, so if you are selecting bookmarks in the references dialog, you only get the options to refer using a certain uh, type. But if you select StarRef, you get the search from bottom to top, and if you select StarRef and a number reference type, then you'll also get this hide no numerical characters option. StarRef also needs more context than other cross-reference fields. Other cross-reference fields uh, refer to the same element each time, which means you only have to execute them once, and then they, if, even if they're in a header or a footer, will always refer to the same thing. For example, a bookmark can only refer to the one point when that bookmark is, or you can refer to a specific heading, but it's always the same heading that you set in the heading options. But there are fields that need to be different on different pages, so page number is one of those. Uh, and that was quite helpful in figuring out what the StarRef's implementation for this should be. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's really a plumbing problem, because we don't have enough information when we're determining what, what uh, thing a cross-reference field is referencing to figure out where it is in the document. So to change that, I added uh, a pointer to our text node, which you can provide to the get reference text node function. 
and that uh, lets you use uh, it when you're finding the anchor in StarRef. Uh, so you can find based on where you are in the document. So let's give you an example. This is the LibreOffice 7.6 Writer Guide, um, and I've added some more stuff to its footer. You can see here I've added inserting a landscape page into a portrait document to portrait heads or footers on landscape pages. And those are the headings that are on this page. Um, and I think this is a great way of highlighting that the StarRef field is great at page-aware context. It does all of its searches on a page basis. It starts searching at the top of the page, and then it searches up from bottom, uh, and then it searches up further up in the document and down further in the bottom of the page. Or you can select the search from bottom, and then it searches up from the bottom of the page to the top of the document, and then down from the bottom of the page. Um, so, but you can't do that in a page-aware way with any other field. So we've already got a heading field, and in fact, that's what that's what's used at the start to get this LibreOffice 7.6 writer guide um, as, a, as a title. But you can't search uh, that on a page with multiple headings. Or when you're in the footer, you will get the bottom heading, not the top one, because it doesn't know what a page is. It only knows where it is in the document. So now that you've heard about StarRef, you may be interested to try it out for yourself. How can you do that? Well. If you go to the Insert tab and then click Insert Cross Reference, uh, then select Styles under Type, then you get a Style Ref field. And you'll see this sort of cross reference dialog where you can select what you're referring uh, using. So you can insert the reference text, you can insert above or below depending on where the, field, uh, where the field is in relation to the text that it's referencing, or you can select a number with either different levels of, uh, of context around that. And then you can also select all of the different styles that are in your document, and you can see a list of all of those along the right-hand side there. Once you're done, you click Insert, and you have a style ref field. So, last thing before I go. Can you use this with ODT? Great question, because you can in LibreOffice. But style ref is still a LibreOffice extension rather than in the ODF specification. So if you're using it with another application, it won't understand StarRef. So for maximum compatibility, you should use DocX until that changes. That's all I have for you. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Have a great rest of your conference.